WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everyone. Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network. Three o'clock Eastern Time market update. Dow's down 231 at 34,674. Uh, certainly gave back intraday the gains that it made yesterday, but it's trying to rally the last hour options expiration. Uh, we're looking at uh, the S&P at this particular moment is trading down 50. Yep, 50 at 45, 44.55. Uh, hitting that 50 period exponential moving average support that that weekly chart but in all the indices so far the weekly charts are still pretty darn good q q q q index 100 trading down very sharply down seven at 370.21 and this has to do i think with the smhs which is the semiconductor index which is also down very sharply down five at 146 this is a very serious pullback in the daily that weekly chart, I'll talk about this lowercase h pattern when we get back for the Tom O'Brien show, which I'll be sitting in for. Uh, IWM is the Russell 2000 down to at 183.50 under the 200 period moving average. So gold had a very nice intraday rally. <clears throat> it's given back quite a chunk. It's up 12 at 1946. Um, as I see it, uh, this is trying to build a stronger base. I don't think it's breaking out anywhere right now. But it is attempting on that weekly chart to try to form some kind of support in the 19, 1920 to 1900 area. If you look at the dollar, the dollar is, uh, if you say, overextended. Well, not really, because it's walking the nine period moving average is acting very well. The MACD is good, stochastics at 84%. So far, the dollar is very nice at down three ticks at 105.31, made a new uh, new weekly high yesterday, pulling back just a little bit here. And this is a big story here, the TLT. The bonds down very sharply, down 40 cents at 93.30, getting closer and closer to testing both the recent uh, uh, monthly low of 92.23 and then the October low of 91.85. We'll talk about that when we return. And crude oil, Crude oil is up again, up, oh, it actually got stronger during the session. 85 cents at 91.01. I'll talk about all this with you. Got so many factors here. I'm not sure how the market can break to the upside when you've got yields higher, crude oil higher, dollar higher. I'll be back for the Tom O'Brien Show. Stay tuned.